temperature wise, much more comfortable than our friends down into Arizona. Look at that 90 degrees just about still in Phoenix this evening as we're getting ready for bed and over into Denver 35 degrees. So Salt Lake right in the sweet spot. Temperatures perfectly average for this time of year. And then tomorrow we're actually going to be above average and warmer than today. But about 40 degrees when you first wake up tomorrow morning here in Salt Lake City. By 8 a.m. we're still in the 40s and by 10 o'clock into the mid 50s tomorrow. Mostly clear sky for Lehigh, Provo. Still a bit of a breeze over towards Harriman, Twilla, Magna, Layton, Ogden, Brigham City, Logan. We do have mostly clear sky here across northern Utah and for southern Utah. Speaking of of hurricane down through Cedar City, Zion, St. George. We still have some gusty conditions for Washington County, but that will be dying down here after about midnight. We head into tomorrow for the Salt Lake Valley. Forecast is for moderate air quality, and then by Saturday, it's good again. Now we've got a cold front on Saturday that's going to move in. It's going to be a mainly dry, cold front. So what that means for you as I'm giving you a little bit of homework. I want you to find some time, at least five minutes tomorrow. Please promise me you'll get outside and you'll enjoy it because even first thing tomorrow morning, not too bad, close to 40 degrees at 7 a.m. Mid 30s for Utah County though, so Provo a little bit cooler, 34 for Price tomorrow morning, 33 for Vernal, 35 for Moab, 32 for Richfield, 35 for Cedar, and then St. George close to 50. But let me show you this forecast at a glance for tomorrow because Salt Lake 74 tomorrow, Ogden 72, to Provo 72 and sunny on a Friday for Central and Southern Utah, Cedar City 73, Richfield 73, St. George tomorrow close to 85 to 90. For Eastern Utah, for the Uena Basin 68 and Vernal 70, for Price 74 tomorrow in Moab. So the wind will be calming down this evening. And then it's going to really ramp up on Saturday. Take a look at your screen. If you're getting ready for bed right now, I promise you, you need to know about this, especially if you're in eastern Utah. We're going to see some wind gusts stronger than 45 miles per hour for the areas highlighted in purple, mainly for eastern Utah. Very gusty conditions for almost all of the state. And then we're going to end up with more widespread precipitation moving in into Tuesday and Wednesday. So Saturday, it's a mainly dry cold from that moves through, but that's why our wind's going to kick up. Then we'll see widespread rain and snow starting to fill in into Tuesday. This is our best chance for the most widespread precipitation. Could see some travel impacts out of that. For St. George, you're cooling down tomorrow and Saturday you're in the upper 80s. Sunday, 73 degrees, and then we'll have those temperatures close to 55 to 60 next Tuesday and Wednesday. For Salt Lake, we're cooling down 20 degrees Saturday. So enjoy tomorrow's 74. After that, we've got 40s and 50s. Chances for rain and snow Monday night, Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday.